Not far from Garth Lamb's laptop, there are bottles filled with what he sees as a solution to one of Australia's recycling problems. The country doesn't manufacture as much glass as it recycles, meaning once it's recycled, there aren't enough facilities turning it back into usable products. Our focus has been reducing that back down to sand and using it as the raw material which can displace virgin sand. Instead of going and mining a beach or mining a riverbed, we can use this recycled product which is a more sustainable alternative. Australia's waste industry has been forced to re-evaluate where the country's recyclable materials go now that China has announced a ban on foreign waste. So I think this is a real wake-up call for Australia because we can't keep producing waste and then exporting our responsibility to another country to deal with it. China has long been the world's biggest importer of recycled materials. Its plan to stop the practice next year because of health and environmental concerns is already having an impact. To be frank, prices have absolutely collapsed. You know, the biggest buyer of these materials has exited the market. The market is awash with materials, so even if you're not exporting directly to China, Everyone is impacted by this because there's a lot of material that used to go to China that no longer has a home. That means Australia will have to figure out how to process more than half a million tonnes of materials it was used to exporting overseas, on top of the 60 million tonnes it already processes domestically. Some people in the industry see that challenge as an opportunity. I see huge potential. We've got lots of data around the fact that if you recycle um, and do manufacturing jobs, you get four times the benefit from as opposed to landfilling and trading. So it's an opportunity for Australia to create a manufacturing sector when it actually is losing its manufacturing sector. The practice of curbside recycling is well established in Australia. But experts say there's still not a lot of thought in this country about where those materials go once people toss them in the bin. Which is why Garth Lamb and other people in the industry say federal and state governments need to do more to help. For example, sand is used to build road surfaces. We have these road projects that are being developed by state governments and we could get a lot of this glass back into those road projects. And he says get those recycled materials back into the economy. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.